The normal answer to how are you is I'm fine. In Kenya, we say habari. And when I visit my farmers during planting season, they'll often answer with vua mifika. That means the rains have come. Then I know the mood is going to be good. Crops will have started to germinate. Incomes will have started to grow. They might also answer, vua badu kufika, which means the rains haven't come yet. In that case, the mood will be different. Nervous, jittery. Farmers will be looking at the sky, praying for rain. Now I insure the rains, or to be more specific, I insure farmers against drought through a microinsurance program called Kilimo Salama. I come from three generations of missionaries in Indonesia and anthropologists and psychiatrists in Tanzania. This is me, age five, in front of the hospital of my father in Tanzania. I don't think he expected me that I would sell insurance as I grew up. <laughs> but it somehow makes sense, so let me explain to you how it works. Traditional insurance depends on farm visits, which means that we visit the farm at the start of the season, halfway through, and towards the end. That makes sense if you have a large-scale farm, because the premiums will easily cover for those visits. If you have a small-scale farm of about an acre, we might collect about $10 in premium, so the maths simply don't add up. So our rule of thumb in Kilimo Salama is we don't visit the farm we might set up a weather station to measure what goes on in the field. Let me make that practical for you. Can I have the house lights? Uh, the gentleman in the yellow, would you mind standing up for me, please? You are a weather station. <laughs> and all of the people who are sitting around you are farmers who have insured with Kilimo Salama. You measure quite a bit of rainfall throughout the season, so we assume that all of you had a good crop and we won't pay out to any of you. Alternatively, you measure very little rainfall. In that case, we assume that you all had a drought, and we pay out to all of you. Thank you. Now, we add to that an agronomic formula to model the required rainfall. For maize, this might look like this. At the start of the season, we need quite a bit of rainfall for the crop to germinate, and particularly at flowering, we need a good rain for the crop to form a cob. At the end of the season, we actually need it to dry up, because otherwise the crop will rot or re-germinate. So this is how it looks in theory. In practice, we work with microfinance institutions who are able to give farmers credit because there is insurance. We work with agro-dealers who sell insurance together with the seeds so that people can buy, can plant again after a drought. And that is enabled through a mobile application that we've developed. We also have a call center. Gideon answers calls from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. about insurance, and he's had 30,000 calls in the first six months of this year. We also work with other farmers so that they can explain to their neighbors what insurance is. Because like here, nobody trusts insurance, so they need somebody they know to explain it to them. I want to share with you the story of one of our 22,000 farmers, Jackson Kahiga. He told us that he bought the insurance because he wanted to buy a seed that was more expensive than his usual seed, but has promised higher yields. He also he told us that he bought or he made an investment because he could insure it. Normally, he gets five to 10 bags off his acre. That year, he got 25 bags. He told us that was history for our area. The pride in his voice when he told me that that's why I do this. He also told me, but the aim is not to be paid. Our main aim is to get good yields from our farms when the rains are good. I want all African farmers to be able to feed themselves. I want them to tell me, I'm fine. Vua amifika. Thank you. <laughs>